almost four months into the new year, maybe you've hit the gym more often as part of a New Year's resolution. Remember that? I remember that. <laughs> but are you, memory now. <laughs> are you really burning all the calories the treadmill says you are? And is that count accurate, and could it actually impact your workout goals? One of our viewers wanted to know, and Newsfree's Mark Lovacott joins us with this week's Good question, Mark. Yeah, guys, most of us are pretty familiar with those calorie counters and heart rate monitors that are attached to most modern exercise machines. But we ask, can you really trust those for an accurate reading? Well, Angelita from Madison is questioning it. She asks, how accurate are exercise machines in reporting the amount of calories and fat burned? Good question. Karen Helverson is one of likely many people who has a hard time believing what she reads on the display in front of her. I feel that they're not maybe accurate. She's talking about the calorie counters and fat burner readouts that most modern exercise equipment comes with. Can you really trust these? We get the questions all the time. I know a lot of the ellipticals, a lot of the newer brands of ellipticals overestimate by almost 25 to 30 percent. The exercise equipment is not accurate because all you enter in is your age. It doesn't ask you for your um, sex, height, anything of the specifics that are really going to tell you how many calories you're burning. Most machines use a simple equation to figure out your heart rate and calories burned, and most base that equation on a young, healthy male. So if you're not young, not healthy, or not male, your reading will be wrong. If somebody has more muscle, muscles and metabolic tissue, they'll be burning more calories while they're exercising. Shauna Martin from Supreme Fitness tells us it's all about common sense. You can get a separate heart rate monitor, which can ask specific questions to make the calorie counter more accurate. But Martin says more simply, you just have to listen to your body. I love using the rating of perceived exertion scale, which is just overall how you feel. I know it might not be as rewarding as seeing 500 calories on a machine, but that's going to be the most true form of how many calories you've burned, how hard you've been working. Well, keep in mind, though, you don't have to ignore those calorie counters. Lots of folks use it as a gauge for progress and as a workout goal. Just remember, more than likely, you are burning fewer calories than what that readout says. Interestingly enough, I learned today that, you know, every, all the manufacturers, they want you to use their machine over mm -hmm. others. Well, well, from what I understand, some manufacturers actually elevate the calories saying, well, oh, I burn more calories on that machine. I'm going to use that one over this one. It's kind of deceiving. Shame on you. It's, <laughs> to a certain extent, yeah. What was so. your perceived exertion scale? I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> you did a treadmill in your suit. Yeah, that, yeah, that it wasn't was easy. See, it was, if we all thought about that perceived exertion scale, I mean, <laughs> we'd all be better people. We'd have a News Three calendar looking a lot better. Work on that, Mark right. Lovacott. <laughs> our good question, Mark. Thank you. All right.